It seems inevitable another day would bring word of fresh troubles at Japan's stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Now there are concerns about the health of the thousands of employees on site working to stabilize it. On Monday, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, which operates the facility, had announced two of them may have been exposed to radiation exceeding current safety levels while working in the control room for units three and four. They've since been transferred to desk assignments inside a radiation-proof crisis management building, But Japanese health minister Ritsuo Hosakawa is worried about seven others who'd been on duty with them. I have instructed TEPCO to have these people who are still engaged in such work removed from their duties. Elsewhere, there was a fresh sign of the blow the nuclear crisis has dealt to Japan's art scene. New York's Metropolitan Opera has announced that two of its biggest stars have bowed out of a tour of the country. Soprano Anna Netrebko and tenor Joseph Kaleha said they wouldn't go to Nagoya and Tokyo despite experts' assurances they'd be safe. Met General Manager Peter Gelb. You know, these are great artists who give, who give all of themselves in every performance uh, and... Um, the fact that they made the decision so late is an indication that they were struggling with, with, with this decision and wanted to come. Gelb said Russian Netrebko had friends who died of cancer after the Chernobyl disaster, and she told him she thought she'd be so distraught she wouldn't be able to perform well. If there were a rationality clause in an opera singer's contract, uh, very few opera singers would ever perform. Back at the facility, the plant operator said an oil spill and a small explosion have caused damage, but no further radiation leaks at Fukushima Daiichi. A TEPCO spokesman said the blast heard at Reactor 4 was likely from a gas tank, and the company said the spill found in the senior reactors 5 and 6 had been contained by an oil fence. The reactors had been in shutdown when the tsunami struck March 11th, but waves had battered tanks storing heavy oil there, sweeping one away into the middle of a road. As TEPCO continues to struggle to bring conditions at the plant under control, the impact of a disaster continues to spread. In the face of mounting opposition, Germany has announced it's phasing out the production of nuclear energy entirely over the next 11 years. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.